previously on College Musical. Yes, oh God, yes! Because we have this friend, Danielle, who really likes you. So, when's the date? Sunday, 3, Blue Day Coffee? That works. I'm ready to go. What's up? So you told him to go to Blue State Coffee at 3 o'clock? Yep, no problem. All right, man. See you at 3. Cool. As easy as Kate Caswell. Kate <laughs> Caswell? Oh, isn't she that girl that's been following you around all year? What does she have to do with anything? Nothing. Uh, how'd it go with TA? Oh. Psh. I had it covered. Oh, Cooper. Yeah, oh, yes. You, you wanted to ask me something. Uh, uh, it. No problem. Cool, cool. All right, everything's going according to plan. What do we got so far? All right. Phase one. Select a seductress, female, 18 to 24, horny, mm -hmm. preferably with intense feelings of repressed sexuality. <laughs> Check. Phase two. Convince said girl that a strange man is in love with her, who, despite lacking the confidence to speak to a woman, still happens to be extremely attractive. Check. And phase three, get the boyfriend to be at the coffee shop where he will be unable to resist aforementioned horny girl, thus securing Cooper, me, the chance to live every guy's dream. To bone my T.A. Wow, yeah, um, okay. Well, I'm gonna swing by office hours today and talk to the T.A. and talk you up like the champ you are. I'll see you later, right? Oh, wait, Nate. Yeah. I just want to thank you for doing this all. Oh, I, I never it. could have done it without you. And, <laughs> and if I ever do get the chance to, to bone my TA, I won't be able to help but think about the one guy that made it all possible. All right, all right. Wait, did you just say you're going to think of me while you're doing it? No, no! Oh, I, uh, no, I I was, I'm just making sure, no. you know. Because no. That was so awkward. Uh, yeah. I totally thought you were going to kiss him, and then you had to just let go of his face. <laughs> Maybe you should have kissed him. I mean, at least then he wouldn't have been able to completely ignore me for the rest of the night. Oh, he didn't ignore you? Jockey, come on. What are you so worried about? After tonight, we are going to be hanging out with those guys all the time. And Cooper will get to see just how special you really are. Okay? All I have to do is, uh... Work a little magic with their friend. You cannot lose control of yourself, okay? I mean, I know you haven't seen Michael in like four months, but you have to contain yourself a little bit or else he's gonna think you're a total slut. Oh yeah, guys hate that. I'm serious, okay, whatever you do, just get a second date, okay? I mean, this is really important to me. It's, it's, it's like my only chance to get close to Cooper. Okay, Jackie, relax, okay? It'll be fine. Besides, I'm only doing this for you. Daughter, what's up? Nothing. Oh my god, look at your back. You got so much back knee. Back knee, what's that? It's acne on your back, stupid. Oh look, and you've got chest knee. What's chest knee? Candy chest has got nothing to do with my back. No, stupid. It's acne on your chest, right above your boobies. How do you expect anyone to motorboat you if you've got chest knee? Oh man, that's gross. I don't talk to you about sex. You can't throw that at me. Shut up and work out more. Oh, uh, Nate. Um, come on in. I don't see you at office hours often. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I just like after today's class, which was so moving, I had to, you know, come in and tell you about it. Uh, well, you know, after after we read that poem, I, I couldn't help but feel all these feelings. You know, um, I just, I felt like I wanted to go out and live life to the fullest. You know, that poem was just so inspiring. The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I don't really, you know, remember the words and stuff, uh, but that's because I was paying so much attention to the emotion. The emotion? Yeah, uh-huh. It really made me value, yeah, um, life and, and love, uh, and friendship, you know, and speaking of friendship, you know who's the best friend in the world? Cooper. You, know, you two actually have, have a lot in common. You know, he's been trying to get me into poetry this whole semester, uh, and I know that you and him are really both deeply passionate about poetry. and. Well, I'm sort of coming around to it, but, you know, he's such a cool guy. I'm really not that into poetry. 
Oh, uh, you're not. Uh, well, I guess just figured since you TA for a poetry class. Yeah, everyone says that. I don't know why, but um, yeah, no, it's really not my thing. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, then, then, then what is your thing? Actually, um, you really want to know what I'm passionate about. Uh, I have a volunteer job at the psych lab. Um, I have a patient with man-child syndrome. And I'm helping him cope with the disease, and he's helping us learn about it. Well, I'm sorry, he's man, man child syndrome? What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty serious, actually. Not quite a man, not quite a child. He's stuck somewhere in between. Kind of like Zach Efron. <laughs> he looks the same as you or me. Dude. But looks aren't always what they seem Cause trapped within somewhere deep inside Our memories repressed from when he was a child Awaken these thoughts and what you will find The child inside him takes over his mind Man-child syndrome Wait, so when this guy has memories of his childhood, he regresses to the mind of a child? What kind of memories are we talking here? Well, people with man-child syndrome usually had oppressive childhoods, so for his example, he had an overbearing mother, and any thought of her could flip the switch. A mother's words become a part of us. They last forever in our minds. Sounds kind of Freudian. <laughs> so you never know what might set it off. It could happen any So yeah, uh, every um, every day after class, I uh, I go and meet with him and see what's going on, and I, I really do think that we're um, we're making progress. Well, you mean after our class? Yeah. T tall, skinny, uh, leather jacket. Yeah, that's him. That guy has man-child syndrome, yeah. and he's not your boyfriend. <laughs> no. Next time on College Musical. And what have you been up to? What have you been up to, Scotty?